up, <laughs> fanboys and fangirls. It wouldn't be about the fanboy show without something going wrong upon starting the show. So Man, it's just how we roll. Just how we roll. Um, yeah. Welcome back to another episode. Uh, this week, Luke and I rolling solo duos. Oh yeah, duos. <laughs> duos or something uh yeah tyler uh if you watched or listened to our uh episode last week uh had surgery so we're he's recovering um on his on his achilles on his ankle and uh, we're wishing him the best of luck oh he's in the lobby he's here baby he's here in spirit he's here loosely is what he says uh in the chat so uh tyler we are grateful you're still with us but yeah Tonight, Luke and I are going to be holding it down. You good over there? Glad you're still with us. You make it sound like you almost died. The man <laughs> went to the minor uh, clair emergency room, and then he had to have surgery. Look, look. If Tyler was gone, I would miss him. Can't confirm he did not die, so thank you for okay. clarifying. Well, thanks, Tyler. Thank you for not dying. Um, I was wondering if it was actually him texting me throughout the week. Oh, know? if it was, you know... Could have been someone else. Could have been a ghost. Could have been Dana. Could have been. Oh, could have been. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go ahead and get started with what we did this week. Um, Luke, you're, you're doing some research, so I'll, I'll, I'll lead us off. Uh, I did quite a few things this week, actually. Um, first and, and most important, I had a great time with my daughter building Legos. Yeah. So um, she got her own little Lego set, and then I had to go get my own little Lego set, uh, and we built we built them together, so um, I got a man. Here's the the problem with Star Wars Legos is that they cost fifty dollars. You you have yes, <laughs> you have like a fifty dollar tier or like a like this was like thirty five or thirty nine or something like that. But like you have that like thirty to forty to fifty dollar tier, and then it's like a hundred and fifty dollars. Mm. And I need more of the like thirty dollar tier, but most of them are the more expensive. So, it's a it's a treat. It was a treat myself kind of day, and uh, and treat man, I just I just love Legos. Pew pew. Wow. So, um, I did a couple other things. I'm I'm kind of getting back into a uh, true crime oh. uh, spree right now. Uh, so I watched a couple of true crime shows. The first one being the Texas Killing Fields. Oh, I watched like the first five minutes of that. Oh yeah, <laughs> just, I kind of just started it so it'd be in my continue watching. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, this it was pretty interesting. Is, um, is it good? Yeah, it's it's not like it. It kind of falls in the middle. It's a, you know, for me, it's 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 like a Matthew McConaughey of. It's better than maybe like your average super no budget that doesn't really have much of a story type thing like this this has some intrigue it has some mystery it has you know years go by bef- between when things happen and and people are found out or things are discovered so i really enjoyed it um it again it's not anything super fantastic or amazing but i thought it was i thought it was pretty good uh the other one i watched was low country the murtog dynasty um this uh the texas killing fields is on netflix Netflix. this one is on hbo uh this is a little uh three episode kind of limited series and uh also it was pretty good i i find this i would classify this more in just kind of the run of the mill it's an interesting story and pretty fascinating, but at the end of the day, like it's not that compelling in terms of the storytelling. Hmm. Um, so it gets us straight to streaming. Ooh, yeah, I know. Sorry. Garbage. I'm no. sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, uh, the other thing I watched, I actually watched two more things. Uh, the Vow Part Two. The Vow is uh the Nexium. Uh oh, not the Channing Tatum movie program. No. No, no, no. So this was... Gotcha. So the Vow Part 1 was an HBO series that came out in... I want to say 2020. Maybe 2021? Um, about uh, the the Nexium organization slash cult um, founded by <laughs> Keith Raniere. And just the batshit craziness <laughs> the everything that entails. Dude, this... 
and I'm so glad we got a, a second a second part to this, a second season. Um, but like, you just have to have some kind of ego to have everything you do be recorded, and then w- what happens when the people who are like in charge of your marketing, in charge of all that, turn on you? And are like, we're going to make a documentary with literally all the evidence. Oh, my God. It's so fascinating, the ego on this guy. <laughs> um, but at the same time, like, it's also, like, a, a a really good reminder of, like, how easy it is to get swept into, swept up into something. Um, a cult. If there, a cult. <laughs> if there's a charismatic leader, if there's, you know, people who, you know, pressure, you know, your pressure is a thing and, and whatnot. But um, yeah, this, the part one really sets up why things are, are the way they are in, you know, in this kind of cult. And then this is kind of the fallout of all that. The part two is while the trial is happening, they're looking back at some of, um, some of the things that led up to it, led up to the arrests and whatnot. And, uh, and it's really fascinating. I, 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 I give part two, a, uh, a Matthew McConaughey. I don't think it's quite as compelling as part one, uh, but it's still really interesting. What was part one? Is that a Booyah? Uh, no, I think it's fanboy worthy. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's really good though. Uh, and then finally, the last thing I did was I watched Avenue 5, season two. Um, this is another one of those, like, I don't know why it's on HBO. It, this is this is like Space Force level bad comedy uh <laughs> series and i don't know how it's it's surely it's not gonna get renewed for a third season i don't know um it's a straight to streaming i i don't think it's compelling at all i watched the whole thing and was i the was first like season good i think the first season i gave a matthew mcconaughey okay i think it was fine because you liked space force season one yeah and then season two, two was, was garbo not good either so i don't so i, I don't wonder know. if it's the same thing could be gosh i hated space force yeah yeah, it's it's unfortunate because I do think like it's a talent, it's a mostly talented cast, but they just don't do anything that's all that interesting. Mm. But, yeah. Um, and then the last thing I did, did, which Luke and I will both talk about a little bit, is play the new season of Destiny. Yeah. Um, I I'm in the place in Destiny right now where I play for like three or four weeks at the beginning of a season. <laughs> you know, miss a good five weeks of the season and then kind of come back in for the last couple of weeks to, to catch up. And, uh, catch up. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. Um, you know, it's, it's a bit of a slim down. It feels a little slimmer maybe. Uh, that said, I think Donning's right around the corner. I think so it like, starts we're getting a, tomorrow? A, like a free event, um, right away. So hopefully that takes that takes some of that like oh we're not we don't have a six player activity. You gonna bake some cookies? We're gonna bake some cookies. I actually I didn't participate hardly at all in the dawning last year, so I will see how much I do this year. The new I'll, dungeon was great though. Luke and I did that. Yep. I'll I'll do the dawning because it they'll have a seal for it. Oh yeah. And I usually go for those if it looks attainable and the, the holiday ones are easy. Yeah. They would just take a long time. Yeah. Um <laughs> But yeah, I've I've been digging the new season. I like the new weapons. I'll always be okay with updated Iclos weapons because mm-hmm. I love those weapons. So they add the new perks to them. Yeah, I'll I'll gladly take that. Um, I I like the story too because we're finally re. Ooh. Ooh. we're revisiting story points from like over a year ago. Careful, man. Um, in that dealing with Rasputin and Anna Bray. Yeah, I think that's maybe Clovis my, Bray. My favorite part of this season specifically is that it's it's a picked up thread. Mm-hmm. It's a thread that's been you know some of the other seasons have been great kind of introductions into things that I wasn't aware that I needed. Right, yeah. I didn't I didn't know I wanted a story with Keitel, but like this is like okay. I remember there was a, it was a big deal mm-hmm. and you know, we had kind of the first part and then we had um, a little bit in one of the se- seasons of the show, whenever the uh, pyramid ships arrived. It was season of the worthy was worthy. when we really dealed with Rasputin and then season yeah. arrivals arrivals. Um, yeah. Rasputin went yeah. to a little nabby nap. 
So, so I, that's what I'm excited about is that it's like, okay, yeah. we're moving that kind of one of those main plot lines along forward yeah. again. And the stories, the, the seasonal story before a expansion is usually pretty good um, each final season. So yeah. I'm, I'm excited. But yeah, the dungeon, um, we went back to Mars. We did. And I noted in, uh, in one of the trailers, I was like, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure this Mars geometry. I'm pretty sure one of the seasonal activity heist battlegrounds will is on be, there too. Will be yeah. there too. That it make that makes a lot of sense actually. And I'm I'm while I'm disappointed. I'm not gotta dis- keep reusing those assets, man. <laughs> disappointed is a strong word. Like I was really hoping we would get like surprise. It's the Mars from Destiny One location. Didn't happen. Um, I am glad we at least get a little bit of that aesthetic back into mm-hmm. our. Uh, our our yeah it was nice to be back we'll see how long it lasts before we're just like "Eh." yeah which tends to happen in every destiny season yep um but yeah the new dungeon is on mars dealing with the vex and rasputin and it's a western theme which is pretty cool it's such a weird combo though too because like as soon as you get past the opening it feels kind of claustrophobic for a western theme Mm mm-hmm I, l- I like it still. Don't get me wrong. You know what it reminds me of? What? It reminds me of the movie Dread. Or, or oh. like um, The Raid 2. Yeah, Like yeah, we're yeah. climbing the tower, tower, dealing with all the bad guys, yep. trying to make our way back down, then, you yep. know, except, you know, fighting robots. Um, listen, I'm, I'm pretty sure the dungeon is really good. However, they added two weapons into the loot pool that are were still dropping in the world pool oh, and that was the yeah, only yeah. one i got so i'm yeah. just i'm honestly just really mad about that and it kind of ruined the experience for me look look we're gonna get back <laughs> in there asap and we're gonna get you those weapons i didn't even get the I dang promise. cowboy hat i promise we're you, gonna use some gear and here's another you'll end up loving it here i still i did still have that's like, it, it was that's fun. good that's good um shout out to bjorn who also who played with this um Oh, shoot, what was I going to say? Oh, this is another problem in Destiny, and it has to do with armor. I have armor that I just use. Yeah. I don't need any more armor, except for transmog to make my character look different. Yeah. So, when I go into a new activity, and I just get armor and over and over again, it's kind of frustrating. Yeah. Um, I don't really know how to fix it, though. Destiny 3. <laughs> i i wish on like maybe if it was pinnacle week um because i don't think you want to overdo it you would get a piece of armor and a weapon mm. each time yeah and o- only one will be a pinnacle yeah yeah, yeah. um but because man going through the entire dungeon getting a reissued weapon and four armor pieces because i went back in and did a part solo it's just like oh, gosh darn it man <laughs> Just felt, felt it's a little really, burned. It's really frustrating. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, I'm excited to go back in. I love the aesthetic of the dungeon. Yeah. And I I thought the mechanic was fun. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know, it's one, of those, <laughs> it's one of those mechanics that you can do. Like, I feel like you and I eventually will be able to do this no problem, just the two of us. It's not it's not a mechanic that's so intensive that it really requires I mean, three people, or I'm going to have to cheese a bunch yeah. to to do it like when we all finished i went back in and did the whole entire first section section solo yeah and like all i really had to do was run around yeah and it was fun yeah arms but i'm salty man it's okay (laughs) it's okay just the rng of destiny which will forever be frustrating it is how it is but i think this it'll be fun because i think if i can figure this one out i could solo the whole thing um which will be fun to try What else did you do this week? What else did I do? <laughs> I didn't do a whole lot, but I That's am okay. um, going to give a little update on Willow. Oh, yeah. Um, episode three came out last Wednesday. I actually just watched it today <laughs> because the show isn't that good. Actually, no, scratch that. I shouldn't say the show isn't that good because it's not good. It's not a good TV show. <laughs> it is cringe. It's badly written. And then they kind of topped it off today. And I snapped you and Tyler a picture of it. Yeah. And it's the final scene. Big. Not big. 
biggest moment of this episode. It's like we're fighting the bad guys, big sword fights, people are dying, and you just you can't see anything. It was so dark. I had no idea what character I was looking at. It was like <laughs> like a lot of people watch Game of Thrones. It was like the long night battle yeah. or whatever the episode it was in House of the Dragon. It's just yeah. like, what is happening? Why is everything mm. so dark? And not to mention, it's Disney Plus. And this, I think, is just a problem Disney Plus has. Their shows are dark. And yeah. I think it's my TV. I don't think Samsung TVs work and I like to Google it, and I don't think Samsung TVs work with Disney Plus that well. So yeah, something has to how, do with the 4K. How some of those, you know, mo- you got to remember most of those shows, even the ones that look awful, the when they're color uh, corrected, when they're when they they get the color treatments done, um, in final post, those are done in very controlled on you know twenty five thousand to fifty thousand dollar displays, right? And when you put that image on a thousand different TVs, Mm -hmm. you just don't know what you're going to get. And so depending on your, you know, HDR range and, you know, your max lumens for HDR, there's just a bunch of in compression because of how good your internet is. Like there's all these things that go into it that it's just like, it's just safer not to do it. Yeah. <laughs> or or, or you, err on the side of being too bright. And people are like, ah, well, it's a little... The that's light. right. All, you just err on that All on that my side. lights are off. If I'm watching on something on Disney+, Plus, I have to turn every light off in my apartment. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it, even in like a door. Yeah. There would be scenes where I'm just like, I can't see that. Just gets well. a little washed out. Um, yeah. But honestly, I don't think it's my fault. I think it's Disney is doing no, something wrong that's, with in their yeah. code or whatever. And I really, really wish they had fixed it because yeah. I'm not buying a new TV and I'm just going to complain. About it. <laughs> no, that <laughs> is, that Unless is my a, TV snaps in half. I'm not buying another one. That's, that's on them for to fix because it shouldn't be, uh, up to the consumer to do that kind of research and be like, okay, well I have to buy a $2,000 TV to enjoy this. I know what Disney's going to do. They're going to be $7 like $7 a month streaming service. Disney is going to release a TV and be like the perfect television oh for gosh. Disney Th- Plus. That is a very Apple move actually. <laughs> Apple would do something like that. <laughs> the perfect TV for Apple TV Plus. <laughs> so I got to buy a TV for every streaming service. Wait. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> Cancel. <Yeah. laughs> But oh, yeah, wow. Willow's a bad TV show. Um, but I, you're still watching it. I'm still watching it. Still watching it comes it. out on Wednesday, and I work from home on Wednesdays. So I'm just going to turn it on in the background. Okay. Um, I don't like to hate watch stuff, but I don't know. The show might deserve it because it's bad. <laughs> it's so cringe. The acting is so bad. The writing is so bad. The action is so bad. <laughs> They're like swinging their swords and they're like, uh, whoa, swinging them super slow. Yeah. Oh boy. It is what it is. It is what it, it is. It is what it is. Well, um, that's all we have for we uh, for kind of our weekly update because Tyler is just, oh no, it's not. No, Luke's got more. I got more. All right. I watched uh, Dragon Age Absolution oh, on Netflix. Oh, that's right. You did. Yeah. You did. Uh, this is the animated show. Um, it's based off the EA Bioware game Dragon Age. Um, I thought it was okay. <laughs> um, I like the story and the characters to an extent. You sound so confident. I was just really confused during a lot of it. Yeah, it's six episodes, thirty minutes long. Yep. So it's three hours of content. Yeah, and it moves at breakneck speed, which isn't that uncommon for an animated TV show. Sure. Um, and I really think if they should just kind of draw it out and put in 10 episodes, um, it's a lot of genericness yeah. to it. What? It's like, oh, I bet somebody's going to betray him. Oh, look. It's like, oh, but there's another twist coming. <laughs> yup, there it is. Okay. Um, I think the voice cast is really good. I really like the animation style. Um, I just... 
I don't think it has any value to people that have not played a Dragon Age game. Mm. They're talking about like divines and things, and I'm yeah. just like, whatever. <laughs> I sure. don't understand. Over my head. They're talking about places in other lands. I don't know there's a game called Dragon Age Inquisition, right? Yeah, They're yeah. They're talking about the Inquisition, like there's some big thing. Why don't you explain that to people that are just checking out the show? Just give us a little, a little bit, a little <laughs> like, bit of a. I don't want to have to play an entire video game to have a semblance of an understanding of are these guys bad or good? And the show ended, and they tease that there's going to be more, and it's just kind of like, okay, maybe I'll check it out. So I watched the first episode, and I got a lot of uh, the Legend of Vox Machina vibes. Except- does it? Does that continue? It's so Vox Magna is so much better. Well, so that's my, my my that's kind of my point is like if it if it's just trying to do what that show did so well and it's not any better, I'm not gonna waste my time with it. Yeah. Um. If it if it does something different and kind of unique, mm, no. Okay. It doesn't really. Sorry, Dragon Age. Not giving you not giving you more chances. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe season two will get rave reviews. I don't. Did this get rave reviews? No, I don't think so. I mean, the problem is it came out right around Game Awards, and you know we got a bunch of Golden Globes and you know uh, Oscar for your consideration things dropped this weekend. So it got if it no matter what happened with it, it got buried. What did it get? It has no tomato score. Has zero reviews. And then it was forty six percent audience. Okay, so probably not getting a second season, <laughs> which is a unless shame. They, unless they split. I mean, it could be one of those things where they they had, you know, if it, maybe a twelve season or twelve episode arc, and they split it up into you know six and six, and they've kind of already committed to the next six. They've got the first six out there, and the second six will come in three months or whatever. It's that, just they've done that before, like. The, the first season is a heist. They're yeah. trying to steal an artifact from a castle. Mm-hmm. And they steal it in, like, episode two. Oh. And it's like, <laughs> that should be, like, halfway through. Or, <laughs> or, like, towards the end, at least. Like, at least episode four. Like, that should be, like, oh, no, we stole it and something went wrong. Yeah. You know, because that's what happens in heists. Um, and... I don't know. It's it just, just it breaks some of those conventional storytelling rules, which I would have appreciated more character moments. Okay, I guess. Um, I think I just wish Netflix would pay attention to their own creations. <laughs> like <laughs> the people who they made Voltron, and that show has like seventy episodes. Yeah, the first episode is an hour. So they, like, took their time to show you these are our characters, this is our yeah. world. And then they don't immediately go into fighting Zarkon. Like, mm-hmm. they take steps. And they this build. was, they build. hey, we need you to do a heist. Heist! Dragon battle! And it's like, <laughs> whoa there! We're whoa! on the saddle. What's going on? Like, we need to build up to those moments, and that just wasn't in it. Yeah. But... Where does it, where do you rank it? How do you, how do you rate it? Um, I'll I'll give it a straight to streaming. Okay. I I don't think it's really worth it unless you were like a diehard Dragon Age person, and even then, I don't even know if you'll like it. Sure. Because it's, it's so so at often its best, it's okay. Ad- adaptations of you know I. As a big Halo fan, like, not a fan of the adaptation, the TV show adaptation, right? So, like, depending Way on Halo. what the choices <laughs> they make, uh, yeah, you you may not like this. I just, I hope people take a note from this if they're wanting to make a TV show based on a video game. That you just can't jump into the main mission. Yeah. Um, like, I've been pining for a Destiny the Animated series. Mm-hmm. Let's not just go straight into like the black garden or something like <laughs> let's <laughs> let's build up to something sounds good anything yeah. else this week uh no nothing worth reporting okay but 
That was Main, it was mainly just a lot of Destiny. A lot of Destiny. Destiny. New season, new grind. New season, new grind. <laughs> which I don't hate. Next, I, uh... I, I know lots of people right now complain about Destiny, and I think it's a lot of hyperbole, which is very annoying. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean Destiny and Bungie doesn't have a lot of issues right now, but... Destiny is like a relaxing game for me. Yeah. I can just load it up, do some Nightfalls, chill out for a bit, play some Destiny. Um, it's fashion for you non-Destiny people. <laughs> <laughs> just make my character look cool. Do it for like hours. That's what me and Bjorn were doing after. Nice. The, after the after the dungeon. Someone Someone's got to make sure you look good. Oh, I always look good, man. <laughs> just need my cowboy hat. <laughs> Well, next week, uh, Tyler will be giving his um, updated thoughts on God of War Ragnarok since he yeah. finished that this week. I was texting so, texting him about it a little bit, and that game is so good. We'll I, talk a little bit about I'm, that game later in this episode, but I'm, I'm very really curious excited to, to, to hear, hear his more. Thoughts. Yeah, yeah, agreed. It's such a good game, man. <clears throat> well, I think this is a great opportunity to move over to trailers. We don't have too many this week. I've just got one that I uh, made a note on. And that Luke didn't even watch. I didn't hear about this. So thing, I will, uh, I'll just real quickly mention, uh, HBO has, I'm not sure if it's a limited, I think it's a limited series, um, White House Plumbers. Uh, this looks hilarious. It's about the guys who water taped, or uh, not water tape, who uh, taped wi water wire, wire, wire tapped Watergate. Um, they're the White House Plumbers. They go in and they, you know, are kind of the fixers for Nixon. Um, and, of course, Woody Harrelson is one of the leads and just looks like he's going to chew up every scene that he's in. Um, I thought it was going to be like a Cocaine Bear prequel or something with that title. <laughs> with the, yeah, with a title like that. But um, from the producers or creators of uh, Veep and... Is it an HBO movie? It's an HBO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So it's it looks good in terms of like quality um, of of filmmaking. Um, I'm very interested. I'll give it a thumbs up. Oh, it's maybe a limited just, series. Maybe just one thumbs up. Yeah. Okay. It was a limited oh, okay. series. Yeah. I was thinking movie. Okay. Yeah. 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 I wasn't sure, but you're right. It is a limited <laughs> series. Succession and Veep. Okay. I'll watch so, this. I'm not even watching it with sound, and yeah. I think it looks interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so. Who's playing Nixon? Oh, maybe it'll tell me right here. Who could be? Let's see, see. Okay, that's it's... cool. Thumbnail Gleason. Okay, Ike Barinholtz. Cool. We're going a little it's, fast. It's got. It's got some. Yeah, it's got. Some, it's got some good names. Good. Good. Good talent. Love Woody Harrelson. Mm -hmm. Give me true detective Woody Harrelson in this too. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I think we're supposed to get a couple new trailers this next week. Uh, Spider Verse being mm. one. Oppenheimer being another, yep. but we'll have to wait till next week to tell you what we actually think of those. <laughs> so it's a reason to come back and hear our thoughts on those things. So JT in the chat. What's up? How's it going? Going good. We're about to hit news. About to hit the news. So we're on a roll this week. It's it's only minute 30, baby. Let's go. Oh, there's a Shazam trailer. Oh, there was a Shazam trailer? No, I hope there is. Oh, yeah, we need a new Shazam trailer. It's holiday season. Now's the time to do it. Now's the People time. are going to be in the theaters. I agree. Um, you got you got a news story to lead us off? <clears throat> do I? If not, I've got plenty. So I will hit hit up. I have okay. two stories. One of them is honestly on developing, and the other one okay. is pretty cool. Well, hit me with your first one. Um. DC <laughs> wouldn't be a week without DC Anytime doing something, right? We start a sentence with DC. Um, they've just had a bunch of articles, and honestly, I just stopped writing stuff down because there's some every day about this was planned, that was planned, this is planned, this is canceled, blah 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 blah. blah. But um, it was it kind of showcased that a big shakeups might still be coming through. Yeah, there was the there was a whole like uh thing where Gun and someone else was it um, peter saffron saffron like we're up in aspen doing their mm -hmm. aspen colorado they got the lodge you know they were laying out their 10-year plan 
the hats were on and uh, and then yeah all of a sudden it was like um wonder woman 3 is not happening what maybe maybe again that's kind of all speculation but that was kind of the first that, that was kind of the biggest bit of news and then it feels uh, like the sure thing specifically with wonder woman is that it's probably not going to be patty jenkins it's not going to be whatever they were writing yeah um 100 percent. that's that seems like that's going to be scrapped entirely yeah. and then lots of stuff just coming started coming out with um started with no wonder woman black adam sequels are not a sure thing yeah pretty unlikely actually which which is most why, people don't which is why the rock last week was probably being like hey my money made move my my movie made money my money made movie his mooney made no <laughs> muppy it made like five dollars it made you know i know he's proud of that but he can get a candy at the regal with that money couldn't get a popcorn too expensive he couldn't get a popcorn too expensive like five he could barely get a drink i know right it's crazy um, um but yeah it sounds like kind of the quote was we will build upon what has worked and rectify what hasn't mm-hmm. which to me sounds like nothing is certain uh yeah and there could be a, there's a very there's one thing that's possibility certain. okay yes but there's a very real possibility that the entire dceu gets rebooted the only thing that is certain is james gunn's the suicide squad <laughs> and peacemaker like that will be in it because it's his um which means we'll still get probably margot robbie as harley quinn which i'm good i'm good with that as well um this might be the last i was gonna say the only for sure thing is that they they're like we're doing a superman thing thank we don't know if it's henry or not but we're doing a superman (laughs) um this aquaman 2 will probably be jason momoa's last turn yeah. Before he probably be he's Lobo. Um Yeah, one of the things somebody asked James Gunn was like, is Superman a priority at all? And he responded, he was like, the highest. Yeah. Um somebody else responded or tweeted at him was like, You can just tell that James Gunn hates Henry Cavill. <laughs> <laughs> and Gunn responded, he was like, not in the slightest. Um, so it's just really interesting, like what's gonna happen. I think I said it like a week or two ago. Um, it was it was the week that Amy Adams was talking about yeah. Henry Cavill being back. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I was just like, like, where's the line of bringing people back? Yeah. And I would just rather have everything be rebooted. Yeah. Even though, like, having Cavill be back would be awesome. Yeah. But like, it's one of those hard truths. I don't. Right? Like, I don't. It may be better. It may be better to just rip the band-aid. It might. I don't need Gal back as Wonder Roman. No. She looks the part, but she's not a good actress. She was good in the <laughs> first one because of the who what the character was. Because of who wrote it. Who Alan Heinberg wrote the first one. Yeah, Woman. but but I also think being a fish out of water story. Yeah, that helps. It a helps lot. it helps with what, you know, her level of acting is. Yeah. So but yeah, it's just a big unknown still, and I'm really excited for that it's first a beautiful hot mess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm really excited for that first conference where James Gunn is gonna walk up on stage and is like, "This is what we're doing, guys." Do you think we? Sorry about what you are not getting that you are so excited for, but this is what you're gonna get. What do we? What do we think? Like, what's the timeline on like announcements for stuff? Are we like? comic-con next year are they gonna do because they didn't do fandom this year if we get a re- re- resurgence in fandom or um maybe just press releases at this point <laughs> i think comic-con would be a safe bet yeah because that means there would only be one more movie left in aquaman mm-hmm. that could be the the swan swung of the old regime yep does Aquaman two come out? It was supposed, it was to, supposed be to be <laughs> December, wasn't like, it? In the next week or so, but not no more. Aquaman two release. I want to say it's like June. Bumped to June. It got bumped a whole year. Christmas twenty twenty three. 
Wow. Uh, the Flash is in June. That's right. Yeah, we can't have two. We can't have two movies come out close to each other. And Shazam is in March, and then that's it. Yep. I think Peacemaker season two. No, that's that, <laughs> that, that that'll come out before though. Yeah. That, that that's being shot for pennies, and <laughs> we'll somehow still look better than all three of these movies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. No, that's that's interesting. Okay. Any other DC's things specifically that you wanted to mention out of that story? I don't think so. So in kind of a weird tangent, it's a movie we haven't mentioned in a while, but boy, I got excited this week, Luke. Uh, the Last Jedi? Producer. Look. I know you like talking <laughs> about The Last Jedi. Producer John Lando uh, in promoting Avatar uh, Way of the Water was asked about Alita Battle Angel. Oh, yeah. And a potential sequel. And he was like, we want to do it. We're please, talking. So please. it's like, come on. I need everybody to go see Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> so I can get... Dude, I will never forgive myself, and nobody else should forgive me either for ragging on Alita before it came out. I dumped on that movie every trailer. Look at her eyes. Blah, 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 blah. I went and saw that. I'm pretty sure that movie was in my top ten. <laughs> oh, for sure. Now I need to look. For sure. I you loved, loved that, that movie. movie. <sighs> it was My so goodness. good. So, it would make me so happy to get a sequel to that. Dude, the ending of that movie pisses me off so much now. It's such a cool <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah! Well, if it's anything like Avatar, we'll, we only have to wait eight more years. Take it. We'll get it eventually. As long as I get it, I will be happy. Um, I also want to shout out, uh, I mean, he's not in the chat right now, but uh, Siebel, uh Pointed me to some news this week that Jackie Chan has confirmed that Rush Hour 4 is in the works. And that's not a sequel that I think I knew I wanted, but I saw that and I was like, it's been long enough. I'll take it. I'm ready. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Jackie Chan is always entertaining. Yep. So always a good, always a good uh good pick for someone to lead a fun action. Chris Tiger's fun funny, so. Yep. Yep, and hasn't gotten, uh, and, and as far as I know, hasn't punched anyone in the face recently, or slapped mm. anyone on the stage. Or gotten slapped on stage. Good point. <laughs> Dude, I used to get them mixed up all the time. <laughs> um, Netflix announced that it's partnering with Legendary for a live-action My Hero Academia film. Ooh. I've, you know, this is one of those animes that everyone is like, it's the one you have to watch. It's my favorite one. And I just have not been able to get into it. Um, sorry. I haven't even started it. But I still need to finish Attack on Titan in my anime world. And in Naruto. If, uh, if our conversation just about Alita has maybe proven anything, like you can do anime in live action to a certain degree. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'd be, I'd be interested to see this just because it is, you know, it's a more condensed version at this point, I'm not looking to, you know, start something that's going to take me 15 years to complete um, and watch all of it. So if it's yeah. a if it's a nice condensed version of the story that kind of gets the main points across or, 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 or has something interesting to say, at least, then, yeah, um, <clears throat> you know, I'm OK with it. I think JT in the chat is saying, no, 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 no. Um, JT doesn't want it is what I'm hearing. But. He may be getting it either way. <laughs> Let's see how Netflix live action Gundam goes, I guess. Um, that's a good point. Yeah. I will say, in partnering with Legendary, I have a little more hope. Legendary does, uh, you know, some some big dumb monster movies, but at the same time, I think they do some good stuff. Yeah. It depends on the producers, probably. And the director and the writer. There's lots of elements that make a movie <laughs> good or bad Luke, you, have your, your, you have your thing up what so a... alita battle angels number 11 oh it, it just out of your top 11. hold on let me read my top 10 movies of that year okay what year was this 20... 2019 19 the okay. best year of movies like in the past 10 years i mean years. it was a good year 1917 oh. apollo 11 ford v ferrari parasite jojo rabbit peanut butter falcon once upon a time in hollywood uncut gems avengers endgame and honey boy yeah. All came out. Yeah. 
Yep. Also that oh year was gosh. Booksmart, Dark Waters, Marriage Story, Richard Rocket Jewel, Man, The Uncut Lighthouse, Gems. Oh my gosh, this was such a good year. Richard Jewell, Claws, oh, Mids- oh, Midsummer's a take it or leave it for most people. Ready I, or Not, I oh, seen that was so good. That one was good. Anyways. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Number 40. <laughs> it's number 40 for me. Dude, me too! <laughs> Dude! 40 out oh, of 58. <laughs> I got 54. Oh, <laughs> Suck it. Where was Alita on this for me? I clearly care more about movies than you because I saw more movies. And... <laughs> clearly. Clearly. That's how it clearly. works, right? Oh, well. I can't find Alita, but... Oh, but this is also the year Velvet Buzzsaw came out. <laughs> Ugh. Also, unfortunately, Hobbs and Shaw, Dark Phoenix, The Lion King. Where the heck is Hobbs and Shaw on Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, I don't think I have Hobbs and oh. Shaw on here. I think was John Wick three. It had to be nineteen, right? Oh, there it is, forty-seven. John Wick Chapter Three. Yes, that was uh, that was twenty nineteen. JT. Yep. Dude, what a good year. That was that was a fantastic. <sighs> There's oh, no pandemic. <laughs> back in the day, <laughs> what's still normal? <laughs> <laughs> we were so innocent back then. People were just like coughing on each other, not giving me care. <laughs> It's like what's up? <laughs> um all right. Uh but we were talking about DC earlier and I missed this this post. <coughs> you know, there is a DC there are some DC movies that aren't really in the DCEU that are still getting made. You know, we we know about the Batman, the Batman. 2, the Joker. Uh, Joker 2 started production this week. <laughs> I'm th- yeah. I don't know. This is I'm a little bit where I was with the the Joker originally, which is I don't I don't know why I should care about this. The first Joker pleasantly surprised me. Not so much for Luke. <laughs> I thought the only okay. good thing about that movie was Joaquin Phoenix performance. It was yeah, it was good. It was good. Um <laughs> boo. <laughs> boo. So, no, we'll see. Yeah, he's getting a little shave. Um, did you see who joined the Wicked cast this week? You like you're excited for Wicked. I remember seeing it, but I don't remember, so you can remind Michelle me. Michelle Yo. Oh yeah. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. She's playing the principal of the school. Now I remember. Yeah. I really like the cast, except for Ariana Grande, that they've got lined up for that. Yeah. Who, Surprise me, Ariana, who, do it. Who could we replace? Like, I'm thinking kind of along the same lines of like pop star. But, like, someone who I know has turned into a good actress, thinking, like, Selena Gomez. Like, she has surprised me. Oh. With... With her acting. With her acting. Okay, yeah. I thought you were saying she should be Linda. No. I mean, I like, no, no, no. No. <laughs> she's, a, like, a... In the musical, she's a bubbly, hyper blonde. <laughs> it's, like, the opposite of Selena Gomez. Um, That's the point of actors, is that they... <laughs> They can take on the personality of someone they're not. If they're really good, yes. But yeah. they also tend to lean into what they're good at. Mm, that's that's why she's so good and only murder in the building. That's fair. Only murders in the building. Z- bu- only. Did you finish season two? A- oh yeah, I did. That okay. was awesome. Okay. I love that show. I watched the, uh, the, the uh, SNL this last week was... Um, Steve Martin Steve and Martin 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 Short. Short. And Selena Gomez, of course, made like an appearance. <laughs> but uh, he talked about how they would just finish production on season three. So what's exciting. with all the promo and news about the girl playing Wednesday? Um, Wednesday is a, apparently extremely popular. And I'll, I will never watch it. <laughs> I ha- I haven't seen it, but I've I've too have seen the dance 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 with my hands 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 all over social media. I don't know what it's about, but I liked how everybody like started reposting that with the original girl, mm. and they're like, "Wow, she emulated the girl's dance," and it's like, "Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, is that what this is supposed to be?" Um, I I think I don't know. I'm really tired of seeing. Jen Ortega, every <laughs> single thing, um, not movie or, or anything wise, just like every single post on social media has oh. to do with her, and it's just like, 
I can only say not interested will, on so many things. It will fade. We're in the age of the internet where things are super, you know, those things that are super popular, they fade pretty quick these days. They violated COVID so. protocols and she accidentally told a press person. Oops. Oh, I hadn't heard about that. Now, it could be some fines coming that way then. Some union is going to sure be unhappy. I'm sure they can unhappy. afford it. Yeah, I, well, I hadn't heard about that news, so thank you, uh, JT and Tyler, in the chat for bringing that up. Um, what may be the most explosive news of the week? Explosive. Apparently, Christopher Nolan recreated the first atomic bomb detonation so that they could f- film it in real life. And I don't know how that's possible without violating some international thing, but... Um. Yeah. Are you sure that's a real thing, or is that from a? Nope, that's a real account? thing. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't mean, think I believe that. My guess is it's not an actual atomic <laughs> detonation, right? It's not like they dropped an actual atomic bomb, but they recreated the explosion somehow in a computer because they didn't want to do it CGI. <laughs> it's Chris Nolan. They well, created it, a real image on a real computer. <laughs> Just like they created a real black hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but we are supposed to be getting a, a, a trailer for that, I think, this with Avatar, um, Way of the Water. But, yeah. yeah. A bomb in Tyler's pants. <laughs> <laughs> wow. JT, JT, let's keep this chat PG, man. <laughs> no, keep it going. Keep it rolling. <laughs> um, over in TV land... We got news that Mike Flanagan is set to adapt The Dark Tower. Uh, that was an awful uh, recent ad- adaptation. I uh, didn't watch it. And so Did you I'm, watch it? I'm glad to hear. I, I say awful. I didn't watch it. It was poorly received. I know Tyler hated it. It was a poorly received adaptation, and I'm excited that Flanagan's going to get a chance to work on it. It's gonna, it makes it 100 times more interesting for me. I'm really excited for Flanagan at Amazon, too. For two reasons. One, I feel like Amazon is a little more, hey, go do your thing. Then I feel like Netflix has been lately. And um, Amazon uh, releases stuff on Blu-ray. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually release physical media. Kind of. Give the- me those director commentaries. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm excited for this. This is awesome. I don't re- know like anything about the actual book. It was like horror sci-fi or something. Mm-hmm. And I've been wanting Flanagan to make a sci-fi thing, so if this is how I get it, I'll freaking take it. I will, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent, I'll take it. Um, HBO this week canceled uh, Minx season two. I didn't watch the first one, but apparently this was m- pretty much done with production. Um, they're just trying to cut, you know, save some money at the end of the year. Um, Classic. And they're they're partner the producing partner Lionsgate is looking for a new distributor so it'll be interesting to see if that does end up going somewhere else or if it just gets canned that which always sucks especially when it's near the end of a project Mm. Um, we've talked about that a number of times with a number of different projects uh recently especially with uh Warner Brothers Discovery and how it's all about (laughs) that money right now saved him dollars so um, I have a couple gaming news. Luke, did you have? I'm I'm done. Go okay. for it. Just keep going. Um, so Microsoft was like, "Hey, we entered a ten year deal to bring Call of Duty to the Nintendo platforms," and then like the next day, the FCC was like, "We're gonna try and block your purchase of Activision." <laughs> um, so this is just I'm um, mostly a little update for. Uh, you know that acquisition process. Uh, the the U.S. government is trying to prevent that um, from happening now officially. Uh, it'll be interesting to see where it goes. I don't know. Um, if they, I think they make some valid points at the. Yeah. At the same time, I don't know. I don't know business well enough to tell you, you know, why this is better than doing something different. So. I've, I've hit the the point of apathy with Activision and Xbox and Sony, where it's just like, block it or pass it, because I, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. No, I, you know, if, if this if this news had come, like, 
don't know, six months earlier, I'd been really excited because one of my predictions for this year was that Activision Blizzard would like split and become their own company type thing. They're going to do it on January 2nd. <sighs> and then, of course, like with Microsoft coming in and buying it, that doesn't count. My, my prediction is not correct if they do that. So they got to split so Microsoft can buy it. Can buy part of, of it them. and somehow I get a technicality when I won't. I'm going to get zero predictions this year. Guys, I've got like three weeks left, and I've gotten zero predictions so far. <laughs> Avatar 2 is going to have to make a billion dollars really quickly <laughs> for me to get anything right. Hopefully it does, so we get a lead at 2. Yes. Yes, fingers crossed. Okay, I think that's the end of our news segment, and we can transition over to talking about the Game Awards um, real quick. Let's talk about winners. Um, you know, are there any big upsets or, or sorry losers? Um, <laughs> no, nope. Luke. I, Straight up, honestly, I feel like this game awards is just like every winner was like, yeah. okay, yeah. yeah. It was mostly a. There was no game without one, and everybody's like, what? What? Yeah. What? Like, and th- this is always the one, and I'll just start with this one. Like, there's always an indie game that is up mm-hmm. for game of the year, and they come, they bring the uh, things up for what was indie game of the year, and it's like. If it's not the one that was nominated for overall game of the year, we have several questions that are going to happen. Yeah. You know, it's Stray one. Um, I haven't played Stray. I know Tyler really, really liked Stray. Yeah. I still want to play it. Hopefully I get to it soon. Um, yeah. I, I want to I go around and play as little cute cats. Yeah. I just, uh, I just need to get a PlayStation first. I guess. <clears throat> you have one. I need to get a... Is it on PS4? Mm. Probably not. You just a PlayStation. You didn't say okay, fine. Fine, <laughs> fine. You're right. That was um, technically correct of myself. Yeah. We're not going to go through every single award. Award. The, award, award, award. Gosh, man. We're not going to go through every single award. There That's what is. Luke is trying to say. Hey, at least I'm not coughing this week. Dude, I noticed that. So glad you're feeling I brought better. zero cough drops. I'm so glad you're feeling better. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, it's nice. Um, I'm just going to kind of go through games that one. Okay, let's do it. Um, As Dusk Falls, I think this is cool. I always like the games for impact category. Yeah. You know, games that are actually trying to send a message or do something for people is always really cool. I haven't played It's Dusk Falls. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it looks cool visually. It's like painting. Yeah. Paintings. Um, but congratulations to them. <laughs> um big w a new category that i was really excited for was best adaptation and that went to arcane thankfully thank goodness because like oh, the shit. other ones in that category were like mm, we're stretching like the sonic 2 it was mm. between arcane <laughs> and cyberpunk and yeah cyberpunk if, edge runners if cyberpunk would have won i would have been like okay yeah that's okay yeah I think that would have been an upset. It would have been an upset, but it was yeah. I to me, it's clearly second. But I can see how yeah. people would be like, "Oh yeah, it was so it was so fucking so good, dude." So, I got on Netflix this week to watch Dragon Age, mm-hmm. and I clicked like I had to look for it kind of because it wasn't on the main page, and right next to it was Arcane. And for like three seconds, I looked at it and was like, "I could just start Arcane over and watch that instead," but I didn't. Kind of wish I would have. I need to rewatch that show because it's so good. Um, I'm excited for that category in the future too, as long as there's not Uncharted's in it. <laughs> or what? What was the other one? It was Uncharted, Sonic, and oh, wasn't there just four? I'm pretty sure there was five. Oh, was there five? I can't remember. Best oh. adaptation. I have it right here. Luckily, Maybe. Luke's got it. If it looks pulled up. Um. Oh, Cuphead show, which is pretty good. Oh yeah, I watched some of the Cuphead show. That was yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Uncharted is garbage though. <laughs> um, and then really, I'm not gonna talk about like best sim game, best VR game, best action adventure game, best role playing game. I think Bayonetta won one of them. <laughs> I don't even know which one it was. Um, the really the other two winners of the night were God of War and Elden Ring. Mm-hmm. Um, God of War won Best Narrative, Best Action Adventure, Audio Design, Score and Soundtrack, 
innovative in ex- accessibility, and then Christopher Judge also won for best performance. Mm. Um, yeah, that is an awesome game, and just none of those are a surprise. Yeah. Um, and I'm I'm glad Tyler beat it so I can finally talk about it with somebody because <laughs> that last mission is so awesome. Um, we'll get we'll get to the announcements announcements, my guy. Um, and then Elden Ring won Game of the Year, Art Direction, RPG, and Studio slash Game Direction. It was uh, it was kind of fun. I it, like you said, none of these were a surprise, but going in. To some of these categories where Elden Ring and God of War were facing up, it was just kind of like watching the two boxers walk into the ring. You're like, oh, these are both like heavyweight champions, mm-hmm. and who's gonna come out on top? And while I think, um, I think, I think, I think it worked, right? I think it was a like, it yeah. seemed to even out how it how it all sh- shook down. Yeah, so pretty happy with that. And man, they have something over there on the water at From Software, I guess, because they just pump out Game of the Year games. They do. Oh my goodness, I know, they do. I know Sony kind of does it too, but like Sony is a way up there. They're not actually making the game. Like it's Santa right. Monica or right. Naughty Dog. Yeah. Um, They're the producers yeah. behind the distributors. But I, I really want to try Elden Ring. That's two in a row. That's right. Yeah. What won last year? Uh, JT, what was what was their last game that one? I don't even remember. It was d- Dark. What's the not Dark Souls? Demon Souls? Nope. Demon. Oh, Sekiro. 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 Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> it hurts that I like don't play any from software games because I suck at video games. I need I to know. get this point out there constantly that I'm really bad at video games. Um. Man, that's a quick turnaround too. It is. Just be like, here's one. Here's game of the year. Here's another. Boom! Here's, here's another game, game of the, of the year. year. I guess they worked on Elden Ring for like ten years though. Yeah. Game of Thrones guy had to write it. <laughs> Instead of writing his books. Indeed. Um, Indeed. two awesome winners. Um, a dude playing the clarinet slash flute. What are you doing? I just heard all your knees pop. <laughs> Brett is getting up there in age. Um, right before game of the year, they were showing the orchestra play, and there was a dude who was playing his bass flute or tenor flute or whatever, and he was going so hard, and it was so awesome. So I want to make sure we shout out that guy. Um, and also Bill Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you missed it, some child went up on stage and gave a shout out to bill clinton <laughs> and it was probably one of the funniest things we've ever seen that's uh the last show award we watched together somebody also went up on stage and did something ridiculous this one was less violent which um was nice at this point it's just like a thing now somebody's gotta go up and stage someone's and gotta go something. up and do something I'm back, by the way. Are you exhausted from crawling around like that? I I gotta have a better system to do things. <laughs> if a camera goes down. You know what? I got it back up. Oh no! The operation <laughs> and safety of this battery cannot be guaranteed. Continue use. Guys, I have to go back over there, but I'm not gonna crawl. I'm just walking. Technical difficulties are fine. All you have to do is hit okay, though, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, I hit my knee. <laughs> this is this is why we need a like a technical person behind the scenes making sure everything doesn't completely break. Any Did ways. you see Jeff's face after that happened? He wanted to slap a kid. Oh well. Yeah, he uh, slapped the cuffs on him. <laughs> he got <laughs> arrested immediately. <laughs> I just oh. I don't understand how they even just he went up there and nobody walked out there and was like Get off. It's one of those things where I think because he wasn't, like, causing a disturbance during the speech, people were like, uh, is he, maybe, like, is he supposed to be up there? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't, but from now on, 100%, if there wasn't already, there's going to be, like, a, here's your, like, who's coming up, it doesn't change. If someone's not on the list, they're not even going to get 
Now that camera's off. <laughs> <laughs> Was that my camera? Yeah. We don't need it. We 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 don't need it. Oh no. It. It's my camera. I don't know. Luke's camera's just fine. My camera's not apparently. Just flip them. Who oh. knows? Things are going crazy here tonight. This is what happens when Tyler isn't here. Well, I'm gonna blame Tyler. Tyler is definitely the I'm gonna, cause of I'm all gonna blame of these his issues. Achilles. Um okay, was there anything else before we get to announcements? I don't think so. Audio only podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people are like, that would solve so kids? many problems if we just did audio. That's what we used to do. <sighs> back in the day. Nah, we're not it, going back. It was kind of fun, but also videos feel like helps me a little bit more. Yeah, uh, for sure. You can see the emotion in my face instead of just being like, why is this Tyler's, child yelling? <laughs> Tyler is claiming that he doesn't cause these issues, but we all know the truth. Oh, but he's playing Ghost of Tsushima. Oh. <laughs> I love that game. <laughs> okay, so yes, Luke, what was announced? There were quite a few things. I just want to say I don't have everything written down. So JT, please say in the chat what you're like super excited about. There were like 1,500 we'll things announced. Yeah. And so we're covering the big ones or like, like the ones that we're most interested in uh but yeah if there's something that we forgot just I have holler a, at us i only have 11 right it's now. all good these are like the things i care about come on Luke. um slash tyler um so the first one i'll talk about is hades 2 was announced yeah i know tyler's really excited for super hyped super hyped for hades 2 yeah as someone who's not beaten the first one or gotten remotely close to beating <laughs> the first one i'm like in love with that art style and like that team does such a great job so yeah very excited to see a sequel yeah and i think that was tyler's game of the year last year or right. two years ago whenever it came out yeah um he spoke very highly of it he is a huge advocate for that studio what's the studio i'm sorry tyler this is what happens when you don't write anything down hades developer Luke, we don't expect super you. giant games. We don't expect you to do that Woo, much thanks, uh, research, Google. so it's fine. This is normal. I honestly think, yeah, super giant. Okay, I'm glad I was right. Um, if I did actual research, I feel like this podcast would not be half as entertaining. Not as nearly as fun. At right. least, at least though we think it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I I really like the art of Hades. Yeah, I just you know I've never played it. I feel like I should give it a try. Mm -hmm. Would I like it, Tyler? Or is that one of those games you need to be good at? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I'll talk about that, JT. Um, before the show started, they showed the... I don't remember her name now. She's from the James Bond movies. One that's in love with Bond. Um... Eva Green? No. The one who doesn't die. At the end. Swan. Blonde. Oh! The French girl. The French girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they showed her and a bunch of people in the in the audience, and I was like, oh, Death Stranding 2 is probably going to be Dallas. <laughs> and it was. Um, this is awesome. I love the first Death Stranding, even though I technically haven't beat it yet. That game is so long. It's so long. And I just, I fell off of it because so much else was happening um kojima is a crazy person for like whatever is in his mind and what he can think of um i'm really really excited for ds2 and now i need to beat Death Stranding one brett is back on you're talking about death stranding and i other than it, it looks awesome i don't know can't talk about death stranding one because i haven't played it you should. It's FedEx the video game with monsters and like time travel and t the teleporting and zip lines and motorcycles. It's awesome. I I can't believe I actually like that game. It was a lot like Alita. I was just making fun of it and then I played it and I was like, oh, this is kind of awesome. Um, Do you want to talk about something that I think you are interested in? Or do you want to keep doing technical stuff? I want to keep doing it. I'm going to figure out this dang camera. <laughs> then I will continue on to something else. Um, 
skip that. I'll skip that. I'll skip that. Ult Armored Core 6. That was the other thing you mentioned, JT. Um, if I don't end up getting... Shoot, what's it called? Elden Ring? I think I might actually kind of want to try this. Because I, <laughs> I loved this little CG trailer they had put out. Plus... Everything turned off for a little bit. Um, I'm a sucker for mecha anime stuff. Giant robots fighting. I love Transformers. I love Voltron, Gundam, all that stuff. What? <laughs> what are you doing? What is... This, this show is an absolute cluster. Oh my god. People have been just staring at me. I feel like Colin Cowherd right now is going, Baker Mayfield. Is not a good quarterback, but he can't stand it when the camera's just on one person. You good? You figure it's it the out. Last time I'm touching that camera, if it goes <laughs> off again. I don't know what's happening. But uh, yes, Armor Core Six. I have not played any Armor Cores. I never heard of it. And uh, I never heard of it. I I have heard of it, but I, I've, I have no experience. But this trailer looked dope. Yeah. I'm down. I'm down too. Giant robots fighting is like what I wish my middle name was. Yeah. Yeah. This is probably going to be one of those games that I, I see and I'm like, this looks so cool. I can't <laughs> play it. But hopefully, hopefully not. Hopefully it's uh <laughs> Please put it in easy like, mode. For just me. like Luke, I'm not like a big from software gamer. Like I don't like being punished that much. I don't know what that says about me. But um even like, um, and we'll, I'll just talk about this next, like Fallen Order. Yeah. How it's way more forgiving than so any much more. from software game. But yeah. yeah. Even like how it's based on like parrying and dodging and counterattacking. Like I really need to play it a lot to get used to it. I right. just want to enjoy a Star Wars <laughs> story. But yeah, Armor Core 6 looks really cool. Yep. Um, but we can take that tangent into... Jedi Survivor. Yes. 100% this looks awesome. Um we got a little bit of we got a nice little CG trailer, then we got some gameplay. Yeah. And some of the, you know, new things you can do. Super cool. Yeah. Coming out March sometime. Yes. Which is really cool but also kind of sad cuz I did, my one of my predictions was that it came out in the fall. Oh man. They're just hustling on it. That's a quick turnaround. It is. I hope that it is not as buggy as the original was when it comes out. Um, battery exhausted. Again. Okay. Well. Gotta charge that mofo. I don't know what's going on. It's plugged into the wall. Shouldn't need the battery. It is just dead. Oh, well. Um, yeah, this, this looks great. I always love more Star Wars. I love All in Order. Yeah. You, were, you need to play it. I have played it. I just haven't beat it. That's what I mean. You need to <laughs> play all of it. Okay. Well, this is one that's it's on my anticipated list. So uh, hopefully that inspires me to go back and complete the Fallen Order so that I can hop into Survivor. JT, I need you to slow down. We're going through others. You're like, <laughs> you guys aren't talking about Earthblade. Maybe it's the last thing on my list. Let's get to it, man. <laughs> It is. It is the last thing I was looking Actually, I can confirm it's I'll on the get list. Get to it. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> anyway, Earthblade. No, it's Um, Earthblade looks really good. Yeah. It, it's by Celeste. I'm, yeah. just, I'm just giving you a hard time, JT. <laughs> I uh, another game which I've I've played. I there's no way I'll ever beat Celeste. It's way too hard for my old man hands and. Me too. <laughs> I'm on the last level. It's just like <laughs> I can't do it. I suck way too bad. I don't have I'm the not timing. Good at these games, but it's beautiful and yeah, Earthblade is also just looks gorgeous. All I need from Earthblade is its soundtrack. Yeah. Honestly, I'll play like the first couple levels, and when it gets too hard, I'll just listen to the soundtrack. Nah, you good, JT? You good? <laughs> we love it. <man. laughs> I'm just, I'm just being kind of a booty hole. <laughs> um yeah celeste is amazing people should try that out definitely i think it's free on xbox i don't know if it still is that's how i've got it yeah 
Yeah, at one point. I don't yeah. remember if it was through Games with Gold or through Game, Game Pass. Pass but... Oh, Tyler, you beat Celeste? Oh, wow. He's, he's an actual gamer. He's a gamer. Yeah, look at that guy go. Wow. But you know what he can't do? Uh-oh. I don't know if I was going <laughs> to say walk, but... <laughs> It feels mean. <laughs> I love you, Tyler. <laughs> JT, you're too late. You're too late. You it's the lag. Said. It's the lag. <laughs> Don't be mad at me, Tyler. <sighs> oh, man, I have beat a booty hole today. <laughs> uh, oh, my God, I need to delete some of these that we've talked about. <laughs> we've talked about, here, we'll talk about this. We've talked about some Destiny today. Oh, but what about the future of Destiny? The new Lightfall trailer that dropped, uh, it looked good. Showed off some cool strand ability usage. And uh, <laughs> my leg, <laughs> for the most part, st- still looks like Destiny. So that's, a, yeah. you know, that's a win for us who enjoy the game Pretty much as is. Uh, I, th- I think when they announced Strand and they were like, we're adding grappling hooks and you can grapple onto anything, actually. I think the only thing people were asking was, can we grapple onto other <laughs> players? And in this trailer, they show a Titan Thunder crashing. Would I? And the Hunter or Warlock using Strand <laughs> to grab onto them and take Whoa. them on a wild ride across the map. And it was the coolest thing ever. Very cool. I've said it multiple times. I'm ready for Strand to break the game. Um, raids are going to be so easy, probably, with like <laughs> what people are doing. It's going to wreck PvP, and I'm so excited for it. It was honestly like my favorite part about Beyond Light was like people were doing the stupidest stuff with Stasis, and they're complaining about it like Rudy PvP. I was just like, yeah. Say so that's the attitude you have to have when Destiny adds any kind of new thing like this in is you just embrace the chaos say it's gonna be broken and i'm just gonna ride the high yeah until it gets nerfed um and balanced and it will inevitably so jt thanks for popping in for a while man yeah, man see ya we'll, we'll see you later appreciate you hanging out in the chat um what else we got what else do we got um now i'll just go down the list now that you're kind of just back and hanging out instead of doing technical stuff. Um, this was both really exciting and really sad. There was a Suicide Squad kill the Justice League cinematic. Mm. Um, and it was also, first of all, it looks great. Yeah. Um, looks like a lot of fun. But with that came the announcement that Kevin Conroy is voicing Batman. Yeah. Um, who His we kind of performance. Yeah, we talked about it a couple weeks ago. He had just passed away. Yep. Um, and this will be his last performance as Batman, and uh, it's gonna be sad to hear that voice for the last time. Yeah, but I'm I'm really excited to do it, and I'm glad he got to do it one last time. Yep. Um, yeah, and that, I think that game looks like a lot of fun. I've really liked what they've shown so far. Yeah, I think you know it's not my typical style of game that I that I hop in and play um, a lot, but for the, at the same time, like. It looks like a, a fun little DC adventure. Mm-hmm. Um, and with this, with it being the Suicide Squad, I mean, you just never know what they're going to do. Yeah. That's, that's the, the great thing about um, all of the, the Suicide Squad content we've gotten <laughs> in the last, I don't know, five, ten years, has been, is that, you know, no one is safe. Mm. Um, so, you know, at the, end of this, at the end of this game, are we, are we going to get some... some <laughs> Yeeted characters, maybe. And watch Boomerang die again. Yeah, probably. I don't think so, since he's playable. But you never know. What is going on? There's ghosts. There are ghosts in this. Maybe that's what's turning off my cameras. Oh, the other camera went off. So now we just have the one camera. Hey, this camera has never let us down, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All reliable. Um. Next thing on my list was we got a clip from the Super Bar Super Mario Pros Super Bubba 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 Super Mario Butt Super Mario Bros movie. What's it going? It's a Mario. Uh, boy, they sure didn't 
they're doing a good job of not giving Chris Pratt like any lines. <laughs> it is kind of funny, <laughs> but man, the stuff they've shown for this, I've I have enjoyed it. I thought the scene was funny. Yeah, I think it could be a fun little time. It's got to be better than Sonic was, right? Surely. And if it's better than that, like cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This you know the i think this is trending towards like a fanboy worthy is what it's looking like how it's feeling but like even if it lands in matthew mcconaughey like it's fine mm-hmm. that's that's good it's at least not garbage yeah so yeah. I, I thought it was funny how he was like just trying to walk across yeah. the road though and like <laughs> bricks are disappearing and moving this is kind of like the game and he's just like what is going on yep yeah sounds it looks like a fun adaptation maybe it'll be up for Best adaptation next year. Oh, probably, because there'll only be like four things. Yeah, probably. <laughs> see, what else is Arcade coming out? Season 2. Come on! Let's see. It'll be... Two Pete. Oh, I wish. Wouldn't that be awesome if Arcane Season 2 just dropped? Yes. 100%. Let's see, Super Mario Bros. Probably the Dragon Age TV show. Is there another... I don't think there is. There's a bunch of other stuff in development, but I don't think it'll be out in time. Like the second season of Halo won't be out. Um, (laughs) Notice how Halo wasn't up for the award. Sonic, (laughs) Sonic, yeah, yeah. But Uncharted was. Sonic Three is in development. I'm not sure when it's coming out, but I don't think it'll be out. That will probably be next. Yeah, twenty four. But yeah, no, who knows? Mm. Who knows? What's next? Atomic Heart. Do you remember this? Yeah. It, like, has almost dead space or close to a project vibes, but mm-hmm. it's like you're a robot stuck in a robot facility, maybe? I think it's on Game Pass, too. Oh. Um, I really love the art direction in this, and that's kind of what's mm-hmm. keeping me super interested in it. Um, I've liked what they've shown so far. I'll pull it up here real quick, because I couldn't remember who was making that. I think it was in the Game Pass trailer, which is oh. Xbox's only thing they had. Mundfish. Buttfish? Mundfish. Monday fish. Mudfish. They just were founded Mundfish. in 2017, so. Oh. All right. Next, cool. um, Horizon has some DLC coming out. Yeah. I Hollywood think... Land. Yeah, going. They're gonna, the... they gonna make movies. Yeah. The Ember Isles or the Burning Shores or something? Tyler almost called the title. Almost. He was very close. Yeah. He pr- approach was spot on for what it was going <laughs> to be. Um, I think I might check this out. I loved Horizon 2. Um, we'll see, though. I'm not... I don't... I don't go into DLCs a lot of the time. Though, because... They're expensive. <laughs> mm-hmm. I need to make sure it's worth it. Burning Shores. Thank you, Tyler. Um, Bayonetta Origins. I wrote this down. I don't care about this game, but like Bayonetta three just came out like and it's super two months po- ago. And it's super popular. And yeah, it won an uh, best award. Shooting, best fighting, something, best something. Won a thing. It won. A, it, won it won a game award. We'll just leave it at that. Yeah, it won. Some, can't remember won which one award. Um. So yeah. No, it's interesting that they found some success here and are they're just rolling on through yeah just keep i going. was i was just i had no idea that bayonetta was a witch <laughs> and i couldn't get over that she's a witch and she's got guns on her feet and stuff and i was just like what is this world yeah it's crazy i haven't ever played any of them but i remember when i think the 360 came out mm. there was a bayonetta game that came out around the same time or at some point in the life of the 360 and i i just <laughs> Could not get over some of those trailers and just how ridiculous it looked. But it's, I mean, clearly it's got a player bla- yeah. player base and it's fun. Must be fun to, for someone. Which with guns. Um, okay, I talked about Death Stranding and Earthblade already. So I'm out of stuff. Do you have any more? Uh, Diablo. Oh yeah, Diablo I don't play. Four. I don't play Diablo. So. I don't either. But again, like it was a huge moment, and yeah, the trailer looked awesome. Um, Judas, what was Judas? 
I don't remember. Judas is the... Judas. Judas Priest! <laughs> uh, game. <clears throat> I can kind of remember the... Is it only on Steam? Yeah. Oh, well, I don't care anymore. Oh. <laughs> no, no longer interested. Oh, PS5. Oh, is it? Judas Reveal Trailer, PS5 games. Oh, okay. See, apparently not just on Steam. Okay, yeah, this was the sci-fi looking weird game. Ooh, fast forward. Loading. Let's, come on. Skip ahead. Faster. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Oh, that's right. Yeah. With the... Mm -hmm. This is Ken Levine's. Kim? Ken. Ken? The, the critter Bioshock. That's right. It's his new, co his okay. new company's first game. Um, You're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there's definitely more interest from me there just because of who's making it. Did he do Bioshock Infinite as well? Or yes. That? Okay. The that's only, the only Bioshock I played. He didn't do two. Two was an outsour like an outsourced game. Okay. Kind of a thing. System uh System Shock? No, the creators of System Shock. I think I'll that's put a, a game. shock in your system. But yeah. No, I thought this looked interesting. Um I kind of yeah, I kind of forgot about yeah, it. Man, no. there's so there was so much announced that it's easy to <laughs> just kind of forget yeah. what exactly was was what i feel like there was like 200 announcements final fantasy 16 trailer is always cool looking to me even though i never play the games mm -hmm. rem rem remant 2 i don't even remember that one these are some of jt's old comments that i missed yeah hades is tough okay then i won't play <laughs> <laughs> because i suck Luke's not a gamer, but that's okay. We love you anyways. You're more of a gamer than I am. I like those... I'm just an old man. Single-player, story-based, linear games. Well, on easy difficulty. <laughs> or, like, not story mode, but, like, enemies are slightly less challenging. Mm. Take this for a good, fun, balanced experience. It's yeah. usually the one I like. Agreed. Agreed. Okay, well, if we miss something, uh, let us know in the chat or you know in the comment section. Uh, if if we missed an announcement of a favorite game or a um, a game that you think got snubbed, um, obviously you know Elden Ring and God of War, I feel like deserved all the categories they're in, but that doesn't mean the those other nominees weren't also great choices. So uh, <clears throat> at the same time. Okay, so... Luke's got something to say. This is a slight update. It's not where we want it yet. Oh, okay. But, you know, the thing is, every week I Google, has Helen Hunt That's signed on right. to the Twister sequel? How did we forget about that during news? And the Google ticker at the top uh -huh. has changed. <gasps> it reads, Deadline reports that while Spielberg flipped, that's in quotes for audio listeners, for the script by Mark L. Smith... The Revenant, mm -hmm. Helen Hunt has not signed on for the sequel. However, that is an update. Let's say that means that somebody is working on this. Things are happening. And things could happen. Oh, bring her back. Pay the woman. <laughs> Here's another fun thing I did this week since, you know, we're running, we're at the end of the show. Uh, I, I tested out the, uh, the open, uh, the, the AI chat. G GDT or whatever open 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 chat GDT. It's really interesting. I have no idea what you're you can about. like ask it. You can like give it a prompt and it'll like write you a little thing. You be my. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would have a response to that, Luke. <laughs> It'd be like mm, I just want to be really fast. <laughs> it's kind of my. It's kind of my. I haven't. I haven't really touched AI art at all. Um, I feel like that's a little AR, AI art is theft, right? It's a little. It, I'm a, I'm a little less comfortable with it, but this is a this was you know just kind of a yeah an interesting like hey uh, write me a series of social media posts for the what the fam for our podcast a podcast about you know you could say about movies and entertainment and then it would give you like four different. Did you tweet any of them? I haven't. No, I, it's an example. An example oh. of what you can do. 
Or you could you could be like, tell me a five hundred word story about um, uh, a, tell me a, the... je- a Jedi and a Sith. Right. Tell me the most boring, blandest, cringe joke. Some of the yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's what I would ask. Yeah, uh, some and give the... me the script to Willow though. Some so. of the. <laughs> Some of the responses are pretty interesting uh, in that, like, it's designed to be more like a, uh, like a summary. Uh, so, like, it'll give you a little introduction. It, it's very <clears throat> technical, like, how you would write, like, a paper in eighth grade or something like that, where it's, like, introduction, body, content, and then, like, uh, what, what, what's, the, what's the end of conclusion. a conclusion? A conclusion. Which... And how it how it uses language is, is kind of interesting. But I is there a of... work cited? No. No work cited. So it's all plagiarism. Because that's what I, I gathered. Yep, I think they're not so. willing to cite their sources. Must be. Must be. Take them down. Um, I'm excited for AI to take over the world and send us into the apocalypse. Absolutely, should be interesting. I'm curious how different people will deal with that me i'll still be apathetic about mostly everything and be like oh <laughs> it'll happen i'll be like oh i'll just wait for the movie yeah <laughs> i just somebody assume, will be like terminator already happened <laughs> i assume i'll just try and revert to my the ways of my ancestors and and go learn how to farm if that's still possible can i just come with you yeah man so we get a spare bedroom. It'll be fine. I started Yellowstone mm-hmm. this week, mm-hmm. and they're out there ranching and farming. And a lot of the shows is riding horses, and I'm just like, I want to ride a horse, <laughs> man. It looks so fun. Should we move the What the Fanboy to Montana production to Montana, and we'll just buy like 300 acres? We can each build our little houses out there, and. And get a horse. We'll, we'll ranch and podcast. That'll be our occupations. Tyler, are you in on this? He's We're rancher. We're, he's coming no matter what. He don't get a choice. This is a democracy, and two of us are voting yes. You don't need to walk when you ride a horse. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you can also, they can also pull you on like a... On a wagon? A wagon or a, 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 a carriage of some kind. Man. Freaking... Sled. And freaking Willow. You get sled dogs for the winter. See, this is the perfect. Dana's family up there. Perfect. We got it in. Let's go. Oh my gosh. What are we waiting for? In- We're out of here. Let's go. We're moving. We're packing up. Hold We're on. We're packing up, baby. I want to complain okay. about Willow some more. We got to pack these things up. Don't touch my X-Wing. Okay, my bad. Uh-oh, and I hit Ahsoka at the same time. That's okay. Anyway, in Will, do you remind me of this because in the show they also ride horses and they also have a wagon. Oh. And I just want him to like gallop somewhere with a sense of urgency. <laughs> like a main character, a very important character, was kidnapped. <gasps> and they're just like walking their horse down the road and they're like, I hope we find her. It's like, whoa, we'll watch a freaking move. <laughs> I mean, they're not like Aragorn and Legolas and Gimli sprinting across the Rohirrim no. to rescue. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard. And I was talking about you with it before. The uh-huh. worst thing about the show is the tone. Mm-hmm. It's idiotic. It's like goofy and feels like somebody only watched Joss Whedon movies and was like, this is how you write a script, except they're horrible at it. Oh, maybe they had an AI writer. Here's the script. thing, though. You know who it is? Who? It's Jonathan Kasdan. Lawrence Kazan's Yeah, kid. yeah, yeah. He did, he did Solo. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Listen, I know who your dad is, but you're just not a script writer, man. Yeah. I don't think that's your calling. Um, maybe do like a story treatment and give it to somebody else. But And then there's another part where they're just like, make sure you get her to the wagon. And then a lightning bolt just goes, whoosh, and strikes it. It's just like, uh, I love it. I love it. That show is so bad, man. I can't wait to watch this. It's so Hopefully with bad. some drinky drinks. Dude, <laughs> I kind of want to watch you watch it while you're like plastered. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, that might be actually more entertaining than the actual show. Could be. Could be. And oh. then play Celeste while you're plastered. 
I would not, I will not get past the first stage of that game. <laughs> it might be impossible. <laughs> I can't even do it when I'm like jacked up on Mountain Dew and but still fully hydrated. Right? Oop. Rough. Okay. Tune in next week. We have a big we'll have our Avatar Way of the Water uh review. It will be non spoilery. I believe, because we're not sure when Tyler's going to be able to see it. Most anticipated movie of the year um, for Luke. Finally happening. So come back next week for that. And we're going to, we'll be starting to talk about Oscar stuff. Um, as, as nominations and, well, not actual nominations, but for your considerations are going out there. It's just, it's interesting to see which studios are kind of pos- trying to position certain movies to, uh, to be award contenders. So. The Golden Globes were announced today. Yep. Yep, so on top of Golden Globes and kind of what uh, companies are pushing for, for Oscars, I think we can make some pretty safe predictions about who's going to be nominated. Reminder about the Golden Globes, though. While some of them are earned, a lot of them are bought. I mean, a lot of awards are bought, unfortunately. Not true, but like that's like... But yeah, yeah, Do you yeah. want to sit no, at the sure. front or the back? And yeah. be like, front, be like, nominate. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want all the alcohol or like one drink of alcohol to be like... One drink about a call, and they're like, I'm sorry, we cannot consider <laughs> your movie for the Golden Globes. In fact, you're not invited. <laughs> <laughs> you're not actually invited at all. Yeah. Okay. Well, until next week, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. We'll see ya.